Hey guys, it's me, my reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Wednesday, May 17th, and it's currently 5.35 p.m. And I have baby September here. And we're going to change her outfit and talk about her topic. As you guys can see, she's all bundled up. Um, so let me take her out of the cover. She has messy hair. Super messy hair. Okay. Lay her blanket down. Look a little bit better for the video, right? Okay. Alrighty. So this is the outfit that she's already wearing. Um, and then as you guys just saw, this is the outfit she is gonna be wearing. So she's just wearing this um hot pink romper and it says love and it has white outline hearts on it and then it has like little ruffles on the butt super cute so she's been wearing this for a while i think honestly since february <laughs> so i decided to go ahead and just get her changed and i finally have a topic so it's not going to be too boring um the lighting the sun is kind of going down so let me see Give me one second, guys. Uh, Alright, well, that looks a lot better. I had to do the blinds the other way so that the sun and the glare um, didn't show up. Anyways, she's going to be wearing this. I think it could fit her to size newborn. Um, it's so cute though. It's like so spring-like. I thought this week it was going to be hot in the, and in the 70s, but it's going to be like 50. It's in the 50s right now, but next week it's going to be 60, 70. So this is really, really cute. It's just this one-piece sleeveless romper and it has a lot of flowers. Really pretty. This would have went really good for Easter. I think I said that already, but um, yeah, so... For today's topic, I am going to be talking about box openings and if they're required. And this is just my opinion, of course, as always, just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. Um, you can, of course, disagree. So let's go ahead and get started. Are box openings required? My short, simple answer to that question. Sorry guys, I can't stand when I see like lint and stuff like that. But um, my short, simple answer to that question is no. Box openings are not required. Would I like to receive something in the box? Yes. If I don't, I'll be fine. I won't throw a hissy fit or anything like that. So that's my honest personal opinion. If you would ask me that a couple of years ago, I would have said yes. Like, why would you not send me send anything with the baby? I would have definitely have said yes, box openings are required. Now that I'm older, I could care less. Um, and let me tell you why I could care less. Okay, so for one, a lot of the items that come with the babies, I don't I don't really like them. <laughs> it's just not my style. Yes, the outfit can be cute, but sometimes it's just not my style and what I, I don't really put that on my babies anyways. So would it have made a difference if it got sent or it didn't? And let me say this as well. I'm grateful for all the babies that I have gotten that came with clothes and accessories and all that. Always grateful. But... Again, it doesn't really make a difference if the baby has items or if it doesn't. Now, this is where I branch out a little bit and feel like the baby should at least come with something. And I feel like that is when you spend a certain amount of money. I feel like, well, the baby couldn't have came with like a sleeper and an outfit or something. Um, <laughs> but then again... Like I said, I really don't care, but sometimes it's like, dang, the baby didn't come with nothing. It was so-and-so, and it was this much, but that's when I'm like, well, okay. But <laughs> again, otherwise than that, again, I don't really care for a box opening. 
I was gonna change. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna change her diaper. I was checking to see if she had like a disposable diaper underneath that one, but she doesn't. Cause sometimes I put disposable ones under it and then this one on top. So um, yeah, I have gotten awesome box openings before and I have gotten some that weren't too great. Um, another reason why I could care less for box openings is because if someone is going to lower the price because the baby doesn't come with anything, go ahead. Because <laughs> I can spend that extra money on, you know, clothes that I will actually put on the baby and like and enjoy. So, you know, sometimes people like sellers, they're like, oh, well, if you don't want a box opening, the baby will be this price. And if you do, the baby will be this price. So, you know, it just sounds like a win-win in the end for me. So, yeah. But again, I do appreciate when babies come with items. If it's used, if it's new, I do appreciate it. As long as it doesn't have, like, a lot of hair on it, I'm okay. Um, I just don't like stuff that have, like, pieces of hair. And I definitely don't like stuff that have animal hair on it. I try not to buy from people that have animals like dogs or cats. Because I can't stand the hair and it gets everywhere. But as long as the clothes are, you know, nice and washed, they can be used. I'm very grateful for everything. And it's always the thought that counts, you know, because they didn't have to put anything in the box. I tried to put at least something in boxes, but everyone doesn't. And again, that's okay. So again, to answer that, no, a box opening is not required. But I can understand and respect how... Some people can say yes, that um, a baby should come with a box opening. So I understand both sides, why they should and shouldn't. I have, I'm trying to be careful because I have pretty long nails. So um, I don't want to scratch you or anything. So I'm trying to be very careful putting this outfit on her. And I also don't want to get in the frame of the camera because I don't want you guys to be like, you're blocking her. <laughs> like, we can't even see what you're doing right now. This outfit might not work. <laughs> she looks so discombobulated right now. Um, okay. And I don't want to put it on her if it's going to be too tight. But maybe I'm just over-exaggerating. So, let's see. Let's try this. Okay, so <laughs> I was able to get it on her. I had to bring her closer by me because this is a little tricky. If I had a real child, I probably would not put something like this on her. <laughs> because if it was kind of hard getting it on her, I couldn't imagine how hard it would be putting it on a real child this probably won't stay on her long i um try to keep the baby's clothes on them for a while like at least two weeks sometimes it does happen to be longer than that but this might this might get off her like in a couple of days honestly okay okay we'll leave that there and we'll do the bottom first. And we'll put it up. How to sit down because, ooh. All right, we're almost done, guys. And that's pretty much it for the topic. It's not really a topic that'll take a long time to talk about. I, it's just gonna, if I decided to say something else about it, it's just gonna be me repeating myself, so. I think it's just best to just button this up and end the video. Also, if you guys haven't watched my last couple of videos, you guys should definitely go back 
and check them out because they're pretty great. My last one was a night routine with Solana, who is my reborn toddler. And it wasn't as good as it could have been, but it's not too, too bad. Especially since it's hard trying to find routine videos on YouTube now. That's not from years ago. No one never does them anymore, so. Okay, let's see. This is a cute outfit, though. She definitely will need a bigger size if I ever wanted to put something like this back on her. This newborn is a tad bit too tight. You guys know I am bad with buttons. And it's crazy because it never fails. Like you guys can literally see me struggling every time I have to do buttons. I don't know why. Is it hard for anyone else to do buttons? Okay. Put the button in. Maybe they'll have a maybe they have a song or something that I can listen to. Probably not because buttons are probably easy to do, but why can't I do them? Why? Why why why? Alright. There we go. So this is September in her cute outfit that she almost did not wear because I was struggling to put it on her. <laughs> and I don't have any headbands or anything for her. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some headbands. But did I look for them? No. Why didn't I look for them? Because I'm lazy. But we will do her hair. So I don't want to have her hair looking a mess the whole time on video. That's the least I can do, right? I guess you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys are doing for the weekend maybe or something. I don't know because you guys will be seeing this on Friday so. It fits. It's appropriate. <laughs> oh also so there's this thing I used to do for my videos i'll put like an emoji on the screen and people will comment it and them commenting it will let me know that they watched it all the way until the end because it'll be like a random emoji it wouldn't be like a heart or anything it'll be like a squid or something <laughs> like who's commenting a squid emoji under a reborn video and um anyways i was just thinking of doing it again and commenting with an emoji. I think I want to try some different styles, like lay her hair differently. But I'll just fiddle with it off camera. Anyways, let me take you guys down because I've been forgetting to do that lately. After changing videos, I'll just end the video without taking you guys down so you guys can get a close-up of the baby so i'll have to remember to start doing that oh okay let me move the tripod yeah look at her little toesies she got her toesies out she has her cute little sleeveless romper yeah her hair looks horrible oh my gosh <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do her hair off camera i don't want to take up too much time doing her hair but I, yeah, so that's me changing September. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram, my Instagram is my underscore reborn. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below anything you guys want in the comments, including video clips. And if you're never subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You are